Up y'all, it's the funny luck guy here, so today I'm going to do my 2016 MLB National or American League East predictions. So yes, yeah, so this is the final MLB prediction that I have. Uh, MLB division prediction that I have. Uh, if you have not seen my other ones, um, please go check them out. So final one, AL East. So let's get started. So. Big place for this division uh, will be the Baltimore Orioles. Now, this team, since they did not make the playoffs last year, and I'm thinking that they are going to have a worse year this year. So, I do like their manager, Buck Showalter. I do think he's a, I do like him as a manager, Buck Showalter. Um, and of course, they do have Manny Machado, Manny Machado Adam Jones. Um, Mark Trombone and um, they pitcher Darren O'Day and Tyler Wilson and of course JJ Hardy and uh, Matt Weeders and Chris Davis and Chris Tillman pitcher. So, but I just feel like this Baltimore team just really. You know, I just really think, you know, I just don't know how good the hitters are going to do for their players. Um, but it just, my opinion, seems like this Baltimore team is just really going to have a bad year. And probably, I think they're probably going to get up to only maybe 67, somewhere between 65 and 70 wins. Um, yeah, so I think this Baltimore team is not that good, but I do like their manager, of course. And I do like some of the players I have Jones, Manny Machado, Chris Davis, Tyler Wilson, and that weird some other players, but that's that's just really good. So yeah, four, fourth place will be the Tampa Bay Rays. Um now it's team. Um they they I think they will have a better year than Baltimore. Um, but I just feel like I don't know how much better they're going to do. I think they're going to may have a better year. Um, if they still had, uh, Joe Madden as their manager, I mean, I would put them probably third, second or third. But since they don't anymore, then I'm going to have to put them in fourth. Um, um, manager Kevin Cash. Um, you got pitcher Chris Archer, Matt Moore, Jake Ord. Jersey, I think that's how I said Alex Cobb and Brad Foxberger and of course if you were Evan Longoria, which is a third baseman. But I just don't know how good this Tampa this Tampa Bay team is gonna do. I mean I've seen some other reviews and people are saying that they're gonna get a wild card but I just don't feel like I mean, I, I if they still have Joe Man, I'll probably put them in get a wild card. But now since they don't, then I just have to put them in fourth. So yeah, it was sort of hard to put um, Orioles and Rays and those two, but I put Baltimore last and Tampa Bay in fourth. So yeah, so third place will be the New York Yankees. Now this team is very old team. Uh, their manager Brian Cashman, or manager Joe Girardi, and you know this is an old team. They do have a brand new pitcher, a Rollers Chapman from the Reds, which is a very good pitcher. So who knows? I think I don't. I think he probably will be pretty good for the Yankees, but yeah. And of course they got designated hitter Alex Rodriguez, but he is just he's four years old. He's 40 years old, Alex Rodriguez is that ain't here, but I just feel like, you know, this Yankees team is just getting old. Um, they also do have a new player, uh, Starlin Castro uh, from the Cubs. So, Starlin Castro from the Cubs, infielder, that got traded to the Yankees, so who knows how good Castro would do. He's pretty good, pretty good, um... 
infielder. So, yeah. And they got Brett Garner and uh, Tanaka. But you know, I, I feel like this Yankees team will do worse than last year. Uh, of course, they got Carlos Beltran, Dustin Acklin, and Mark Mark DeShero, and Tanaka, and Brett Gardner. But, you know, just, you know, our manager and this team in itself is old. Because they won a 24 World Series. I think that's how many they won. So, I'm just going to put them in third. So, yeah, second place. Second place will be the Boston Red Sox. Now, this team has a brand new pitcher, David Price, from their division rival, the Toronto Blue Jays, um, which is a very good pitcher. He does not pitch well in the postseason, so if the Red Sox make the, make the postseason, which I actually predict that they will get a wild card this year. I feel like Red Sox had a terrible year last year. Um being last in this division, and I just feel like they're gonna have a lot better, a lot better of a year. This Boston team will. Um, they got designated hitter David Ortiz, of course, but he's getting up to his four years, so just like Alex Rodriguez, and they got uh, Dustin Pedroia and Craig Kimbrell and Pablo Sandoval. But I, I do feel like this Red Sox team is old too, as the Yankees, but. Then again, I just feel like they're going to do a lot better than David Price. Uh, they just got a lot. I just feel like this team is definitely going to have a better year than last year. I think they're going to get a wild card, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, uh, I forgot to say, I feel like New York will probably get up to maybe 82 or 83 wins. I feel like uh, the New York Yankees will not make the playoffs, and I feel like the Boston Red Sox are going to get around 87 to 88 wins or more. So, and that leaves it to first place. The winner of this division, first place, will be the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, he was sort of far a pick between the Red Sox and Blue Jays to win this division, but I had to go with Toronto. Um, yes, they did lost David Price to the Red Sox, but I feel like that this Toronto team is going to win this division again. They're going to have a great year, just like last year when they made it all the way up to the American League Championship Series with the Royals and were close to winning it, but they lost um, their lineup. Uh, well, they got pitchers besides David Price. They got Marco Estrada. They got Marcus Stroman, Jesse Chavez, and R.A. Dickey, and, and Sanchez, and um... Roboto Usuno, I think. Yeah, and they also got great hitters, Jose Bautista, Josh Johnson, Troy Tulowitzki, um, Kevin Pillar, Edwin Ignacion, Russell Martin, the catcher, and one more, Josh Troll and Roberto, or um, Chris Calabello. So I feel like that the lineup for this Toronto team yeah, like I said, yes, they did lose David Price, but that's not like if they did lose Jose Batista, then that would be a big trade and a huge loss. But I just feel like I think Toronto, Toronto has the power to win this division, in my opinion. So, yes. Um, now, a lot of people are putting them, well, not a lot of people, but I've seen some YouTubers put them in second and third. That's since they, since they lost David Price, but. I just feel like they're gonna win this division again and make it in the playoffs again and could make it all the way up to the championship series like last year, who knows? So, yeah, so this basically wraps up my American League East predictions. So, thank you much for watching. And also, I'm sort of a Toronto fan. They're probably my second favorite American League team. They have great players. So, yeah. So, um,. Make sure to check out my other MLB predictions if you have not. So, thank you much for watching this video. Comment, subscribe below. Oh, cards. Peace out.